First today is out of Ephesians 5, 15 to 16. It reads, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Now, how many of you show hands have ever done something that their parents told you not to do? Mm. This passage, uh, for some reason, reminded me of this time when I was 13, and when you're 13, you make a lot of smart choices in your life. <laughs> and uh, my family just came over from Seattle, so it was like a, a giant family reunion, and it was my brother and my cousin, and we decided one night to go TP our neighbor's house. And at the time, it sounded like a good idea, so we did it, and we picked the neighbor who we hated the most. And if it was one thing that my dad taught me about living in a new area, because we were new to the area, is don't make your neighbors mad. And um, this one guy hated us playing basketball. He always called our, our parents, excuse me, and tell us to uh, shut it down around like 10:30 in the summer nights. So we were very upset with him, and we picked his house first, and we threw threw the toilet paper over the trees, and it, we thought it was fun. It was a great idea. So then we got a better idea, and that was to grab rolls of toilet paper from our mom's attic and go around to the whole entire block. And um, so by the time this thing happened, we're going from house to house in our little cul-de-sac, and. It's like a professional job, like there was a block party that went off in there and there was a, if it was Halloween it would have been a great sight to see. There was just streams of toilet paper down the trees and we have a lot of giant pine trees in our neighborhood so in, in that case it's just, it was a mess for people. And we went to bed that night thinking it was one of the greatest things we've done in a while and it was very <laughs> funny to us. Except when we woke up the next day and realized that our house was the only house that didn't get teepeed. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can imagine, everyone's house is teepeed and ours is the only one that wasn't teepeed and a neighbor allegedly saw us do it last night. So uh, my dad got really upset with us and we were grounded for the rest of the vacation. Uh, there was no sports, uh, couldn't watch TV, we were doing, doing chores and, and you know when you're a teenager chores is always a struggle. And uh, just something that he told us not to do, knowing that it, it would have been a smart thing not to do, and we decided to do it anyways, and it cost us in the end. And uh, I think that's something that this passage is going back to, is the fact that uh, God's word for us is full of wisdom and ways to live our life. And um, by, by reading his word, we can stay away from stuff that we shouldn't be doing. And uh, I'm a firm believer in making the most of every opportunity, like the word says in Ephesians. But... Uh, by, by reading the word in, uh, in my life, especially uh, reading a proverb a day when I was a, a newborn Christian, it really helped me out because there were certain things where uh, I didn't really understand and um, I always thought getting scolded upon or someone trying to teach me would be, uh, like, I'd be offended by it. And um, in Proverbs it says, iron sharpens iron, a friend sharpens a friend. And um, that verse really carried with me and it's something that I use to my small group leaders and um, I just try to encourage them with that. But uh, my question for you today to, to challenge you is, uh, seeking wisdom is what God wants us to do. Are you doing it? And if you, if you aren't, if you've been looking in your life to uh, get more wisdom from God and, and to try to enhance your, your love for people and uh, live a daily life that's righteous, I would encourage you to read a part of the day. Thank you.